Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of Mighty App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a circular progress bar using an extension in Mighty App Inventor. Now, if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. All of you know how to create progress bars using the slider component in MIT App Inventor. So using the slider component, you can put the values and then you can if you want to create a progress bar you can uncheck this thumb enabled so if you want to if you don't know how to use the slider and you want to create progress bars then i have created a tutorial called splash screen you can pause this video and watch that tutorial but in this tutorial we are going to see how to how to use a circular progress bar so we cannot using this component we cannot put a circular progress bar that's why we are going to use an extension so to download the extension you need to go to this website i have given the link to download in the description below so here you can see a user has created a circular progress bar extension and if you scroll down a little bit here you will be able to see the download ai you need to download the aix file from here so just click on this link and then the aix file will be downloaded now back to MIT App Inventor, you need to import the extension which we have downloaded. So let's go to extension, import extension and then click on choose file. And then here you need to choose this AIX file which is the extension file which you have downloaded. Then click on import. Now you can see that the extension is imported. Let's bring it in to the UI. Now before we go into the block section, we need an input for this circular progress bar. So here you can see the input. So we need to put an input for this circular progress bar to be visible. So that's why we are going to use the layouts. So you can use any layout which you want. I'm going to use the vertical arrangement. I'm going to put this to be at the middle of the screen so that the circular progress bar will also be at the middle. So click on screen one and you need to put align horizontal and align vertical to be center. Now you can see that it came to the center of the screen. Next, let's adjust the height and width of this. So the height should be 30% and then the width should be 50%. So let me put the width to be 50%. So now here you can see that the height and width is adjusted. Let's go to the block section. So when screen one is initializing, which means the app is loading, we need to show the circular progress part. So let's bring in, we are going to bring in this block create ring and then here the input is going to be i already told you that you need to put an arrangement as an input so let me put the vertical arrangement so you need to bring in this block and then the percent is going to be how much percent you want so if you put 50 percent then the half will be highlighted in a so here you can see it will be highlighted in these colors you can see the foreground color the background color which you can adjust so here i'm going to put the percent to be 75 percent so let's bring in this block from the math blocks and let me change the percent to be 75 now let's see how it looks in the mobile so here you can see the app you can also see the circular progress bar is visible now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color currently it is red mixed with i think it's orange so you can put a gradient as a as the color in the circular progress bar so let me change the colors so here you can see ring foreground color start i'm going to change this to be dark blue and then this is like a gradient so you need to put a start and then an end color so the end color is going to be this this one now here you can see the circular progress bar you can see that the colors which i applied is visible and then if you want you can also change the background color which is the color which is not filled by the blue so now you can also see that it is filled only by 75 percent because we did it in the block section now i'm going to change the background color of this to be i'm going to put white now you can see that it changed into the white and you you can also see that it is not visible because the background is also the white so let me put this to be the default one i'm going to put 
let me put light gray and then now i'm going to increase the ring stroke width so let me increase the width to be 30 and now you can see that this circular progress bar is thicker and then here you can change the start angle so now it is zero if i put 90 then it will be tilted 90 degrees you can see that it is tilted let me change this to be zero next do you want to use charts to represent data in a mighty app inventor watch this video and also watch the full course of mighty app inventor here <music>